Hi there, this is module 6 where we are going to learn Power BI service. What you can do with Power BI service, how you can edit your report, how you can share your report, what is workspace, etc. Everything you are going to get to know in this module. So this is the very first part where we are going to navigate through the Power BI service. First of all, you have to come to your browser and then you have to type powerbi.com. You can also type app.powerbi.com, both are same, so you don't need to worry about that. Once you are over here, you may need to sign in. As I mentioned previously, if you haven't created your account, please do create your account and you are going to get 60 days of free trial period. Like you can see, I have this one. Once you are over here, this is going to be your first page where you are going to see, okay, your favorites, etc. Some of your reports that you have created. And now you would see the different icons as well. This is going to be your logo. I can also tell you that how you can customize it if you would like to. This is going to be your home page. We are currently over here, so you can come over home page. If you would like to search any report, etc., you can search it from here. Then on the top, you would get your trial period. Next to that, any notifications if you have, you are going to get it over here. Then if you want to go to the settings, that means if you want to go to the admin portal or you want to see this Microsoft Preview Hub, etc., everything you are going to get over here. Next to that is the download button, which you can see. And here you can download Power BI Desktop, Power BI Data Gateway, Paginity Report Builder, Power BI for Mobile, Analyze in Excel Updates, and Power BI for PowerPoint. Everything, you can just click here and you can download. For example, if you want to download the Data Gateway, you just need to click over here. Then you are going to get two options over here. One is Standard Mode, which you should download and install always because multi-users can work at a time. Another is Personal Mode, that is only for one person. Also, install this Power BI Data Gateway in a machine which is going to be 24 into 7 hours running or at least which is up at the time of your data set refresh. Because if you are going to install it on your own laptop and you are going to shut it down and you want to refresh the data at 7 a.m. in the morning but your laptop is shut down so it's not going to able to refresh your data set. Power BI Gateway should be turned on at the time of refreshing of your data set or semantic model. We don't call it data set anymore. We call it semantic model in Power BI. Personal mode, I'll advise you avoid it because it's just for one person. And I'm going to provide you link in the description section or I'm going to provide you link in the resource material about the complete tutorial of Power BI data gateways. So please don't forget to check it out. Now, coming back over here, you will find this icon over here. Let me first close it. You'll find this question mark, help and support, click over here. Here you are going to get different options. Like if you would like to find your contents, you can find it over here. Then there are some forum links, etc. If you would like to submit an idea, like you have some idea that Power BI should work in this way or some new feature that should be available, please click over here. And here you have to again sign in with the same email address. By default, it's going to take your same sign in the way you have logged in. And here you can post it out. So please do post your ideas. Then you have asked the community if you are encountering a problem and you want other people throughout the world can respond to that, you can go to the Power BI community. Power BI com community is one of the world's largest community for any software tool. And here you can find answers of your, all the problems. Also, you can answer to other people as well. Then you have the help desk. If you would like to raise any tickets or something, then at last you have accessibility option. Now, if you are going to click over here, this is like your feedback. You can give your feedback over here. Then you have your own account. Here you would find that I am BI Consulting Pro. License is premium per user, but I have 60 days of trial period as well. If I would like to cancel, I can do that. I can also buy the fabric and I can also click on this view my account. So these are the couple of options that you should remember. It's gonna take me to a new window where I'm gonna open my Office 365 account. Like you can see that and I can click over here and I can see my subscriptions. If you are working in an organization and you are still not sure whether you have Power BI license or not, then you can always go to portal.office.com slash accounts and then you can click on the subscription and here you would get all the different licenses that you have or which you can use it. All right, guys. Now we have seen on the top bar. Now let's come on your left hand side bar. What are these buttons? First is home, which is going to be the same. Then if you would like to create any report in Power BI service itself, you can simply come here, create then you can either paste your data, like for example, you have data in Excel, then you can click on this and paste it over here and it's going to take your data. But there's a limitation. It cannot take a lot of data. So before using this, you should learn more. And there it's going to give you that how much data you can paste or what you can do. Microsoft has one of the world's finest documentation where you are going to learn everything. So please do check this out. 
Now, another is that you can also pick any of your data set. Maybe your team has already published some of the data set, etc. You can pick it from here. And once you pick it, for example, this, and you can click even the auto create report. That means automatically it's going to generate a report for you. You don't need to do anything. Rest, you can start editing that report. And that's how you can create your report. Or you can also do create a blank report and then start adding your visualizations. Now, browse is the tab where you are going to see the contents which have been shared with you. For example, if any other people from my organization or any other organization has shared something from me, something with me, then I would find it over here. Here, I'm going to get my favorite contents and here you will get your recent contents. One Lake Hub is a feature of Fabric, not the Power BI ideally, but here One Lake Hub means that your all the data sets, everything you're going to find here. You can also search by your workspaces and you can see the names as well. What is the name of your content, whether it's a report, data set, or maybe it's going to be your dashboard. Then type, then owner, refresh, etc. Also, there are different options of like promoted, certified, etc. So this is a way that you endorse your content. If you would like to use any other one, if you would like to use other people to use the report or dashboard created by you as a shared data set, that means they can build report on the top of your data set, then you must certify it. Certification is just a process that data has been validated and your report is working fine and it has passed all the quality checks. Now, app. What is an app? App is simply a combination of your reports dashboards. If you would like to create an app, then you can create one app from one workspace only. For example, here is my demo app. Here you would see that I have so many different reports over here and then I can simply navigate to them. I'm also going to show you how to create an app so that you would get to know more about it. So you can go through these different apps and you can see everything. So I have also included some of the links. That's why it's showing me over here. All right, we will come to this at a later part, but not now. Let's go back over there to our home tab. You can simply click here and it's going to bring you to the home tab. Then your metrics is, it's a new feature. Actually, it's not new. It was pre there, but they have updated it. If you would like to use it, you can use it. It's kind of like if you want to create some of the KPIs, etc. out of your organization data, you can do it over here. Now, you, this is your monitoring hub where you are going to get the status of activities across all the workspaces. There is a deployment pipelines as well. Deployment pipelines are a feature of Power BI Premium, which you can use to move your data from dev to prod and prod to dev to test or acceptance and from there to the production. I have already created the videos for these topics. So this tutorial is not for the Power BI service, but I still want to encourage you to try that out and learn out of it. It should not be that I'm going to leave you till Power BI desktop only. Our main vision is to empower you to grow in your career and also to build end-to-end -end projects. That's why we are discussing this. And this is the very reason that I included this part over here. But please don't worry. Each and every features, we have already created videos. If you are following us on BI Consulting Pro YouTube channel, you already know that we publish so many videos, which we are going to include here as a link for you. Or maybe you can find in the description section if you have joined our channel. Then if you would like to learn some more, then you can come here and you can start learning directly from here. These are the Microsoft documentations and this is going to be very helpful for you. If you would like to check some of the simple reports as well, you can simply click here and you can go to there. For example, if I click here, corporate span dashboard, it's going to basically install it into my Power BI service in my workspace or it's going to create a separate workspace for you. And then I will be able to see this report. Like you can see that it's in my workspace over here and this is my report. This is the AI visualization and all these are the normal visualizations. So you can see that they are using just a couple of simple visualizations. They are not including a lot of there and you can easily see corporate spendings over here. You can also see the other page and you can also create them yourself. This is a very good way to present or to learn any Power BI reports. All right, now I'm going to come back to my workspaces. What is a workspace? Workspace is just like a container or a space where you are going to store or publish your Power BI reports for dashboards. You can publish your Power BI reports, your data sets over there, and also you can create a dashboard out of your reports. Or at last, you can also create an app. So in the coming videos, I'm going to show you how to create a workspace and how to manage the access. Then I'm also going to show you that how you can create an app out of that. Not only that, I'm going to show you how to edit a report in Power BI service or create a report from the scratch. And at last, I'm going to give you a brief demo about the Power BI admin portal. So these are four to five topics we are going to cover in this module.